So, why do you want to borrow my nice telly? It's a surprise. Phil and Bill are at Intertech testing facility in San Antonio, Texas, where Victor and the Hulk specialize in breaking things. It'll be worth it, Phil. It really will. Why do I not trust you, Sellers? <laughs> the Hulk can exert up to 250 crushing tons of pressure. An Argentinosaurus weighing 90 tons exerted about 30 tons per leg while out for a stroll. Phil's TV is about to get a taste of dinosaur pressure, and Bill plans to capture the moment on high-speed camera. You can turn my TV on now if you want, Victor. OK, you got it. You didn't really want it back, did you? Yes. It took 15 tonnes of pressure to permanently turn off Phil's TV. Oh, look at that! That's <laughs> incredible! That's great. Bloody hell, that went with some force. It, well, four elephants' worth of force. <laughs> <laughs> but not as much force as an Argentinosaurus leg can handle. Oh, bastard. <laughs> the guys might have to up their estimate on how much pressure a dinosaur bone can endure. Now they'll try something with roughly the same shape and width of the Argentinosaurus thigh bone. This three meter PVC pipe will give the guys a better idea of how their FEA model might react under pressure. I think we could be unlucky with this one. Tubes can sometimes buckle at really low values of stress, so I think maybe as low as a tenth. OK, so you're thinking six or seven thousand pounds? Maybe, yeah. And I'm up there with sort of the 30,000, 35,000 pounds. OK. I just hope it doesn't explode. Is everything OK? What are we up to now, Victor? We're at 27,000. <laughs> OK. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 27, that's about, what, 15 tons? It's going to go bang in a minute. We're going to jump out of our skin, you know that. Oh, oh, no, that's bacon. That. Ah, look at it going at the bottom. Right at the collar. Really? What are we at, Victor? We're at 51,000. 51,000. Bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> go on, pop. Way higher than I was expecting. What are we at now, Victor? 55,000. I mean, it's going to go, isn't it? It's going to go bang. You can definitely see it was pinching at the bottom, but now it's just sort of small. Oh, oh no, it is now, though. Now you can, can see, see it going. It. Now you can see, look, it's actually changing colour. Yeah. There's yes, a, it's, a going, pop. it's going, it's going, it's going, coming it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, look at that, it's going to go, look, it's buckling, yeah, it is, it's buckling, it's going to go, you see, it's folding, and it's going to, 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 is everybody all right? I'll send you the bill from the coronary <laughs> care unit. <laughs> now, that's the one that hit you, actually. Oh, Look at that. Oh, no, that's the one that hit me in the head right there. <laughs> that's a big piece of plastic. This <laughs> piece, though. Look at that. So what was the load that that exploded at? That was at 62,000 pounds. We were miles off, weren't we? <laughs> 31 tonnes of pressure. There. About the same as the Argentinosaurus thigh bone endured, caused the pipe to fail. <laughs> it's interesting, a tube was really very, very strong, which gives us hope. If you're a sauropod dinosaur and you've got legs which are effectively giant tubes of yep. bone, I think you can withstand some pretty horrendous loads.